All right, good afternoon. Welcome to the Kennedy Space Center. You know, it's been almost nine years since July 4th of 2011. That's the last time a, a crew flew into the shuttle landing facility on their way to space. And I can't tell you how great it is to welcome Bob and Doug here for this historic mission. You know, I, I look at what we've accomplished. You know, this is a, a whole new way of sending people to space, the commercial crew program. This really is monumental. And I consider all the things that we're doing, you know, and it, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I, uh, I couldn't be more proud of the role that KSC has had to play in uh, enabling U.S. astronauts flying on U.S. rockets from here at the Cape once again. Absolutely outstanding. So great to have you guys here. And, and you're going to hear from Bob and Doug in just a minute. But uh, before they get a chance to talk and get introduced, it's my privilege and honor to introduce our NASA Administrator, Jim Bridenstine. Jim has been a huge advocate for the commercial crew program, and his leadership, you know, he's been a strong supporter of the government commercial partnerships, a new way of doing business at NASA, and especially here at the Kennedy Space Center. And, uh, you know, like uh, Doug and I, uh, Jim is also a naval aviator, and I kind of wonder if maybe he wouldn't like to trade places with uh, with Doug. I know I'm, I sure yeah, I sure would. So Jim, over to you, sir. All right, thank you, sir. Bob, uh, yeah, thank you, Bob. It's uh, great to be here at the Kennedy Space Center, where uh, history is made over and over again. And Bob, your leadership has really transformed uh, this facility. Um, as you mentioned, July fourth. Uh, 2011 that was the last time we had crew arrive to, to take off on a shuttle flight but I would also like to, to say that was a that was a tough time for the agency it was a tough time for the Kennedy Space Center and because of your hard work and determination and uh, so many others here at the Kennedy Space Center we are on the cusp of launching American astronauts on American rockets from American soil yet again um, and as you said, Bob, this time we're doing it differently than we've ever done it before. NASA is not going to purchase, own, and operate the hardware the way we used to purchase, own, and operate the hardware. We are partnering with commercial industry with the intent that they would go get customers that are not NASA and drive down our costs and increase the access to space um, and ultimately have multiple providers that are competing against each other on cost and innovation. And of course, that's what this commercial crew program um, that NASA has been pushing forward on for so long. That's what this program is in fact all about. Um, I wanna, I'm going to turn it over to the astronauts here in just one second, but just to, to put a, a historical significance on this moment in time. Uh, this will be the fifth time in American history when we have launched American astronauts on a brand new vehicle. We did it in Mercury, Gemini, Apollo. We did it with the space shuttles. And now we're going to do it on a SpaceX uh, Falcon rocket with a Crew Dragon space capsule. Um, and it's these gentlemen that are going to have the opportunity to, to pioneer once more for the United States of America in what is this new era in human spaceflight. Um, so this is a very historically significant moment. Um, and I also want to say that I know times are tough right now. You know, Bob Cabana and I have been walking around in our masks. Um, everybody wants to shake hands and yet we have to resist. 
We just welcomed our astronauts and we couldn't shake. We're waving from six feet away and we're looking at all the media that are here and everybody's wearing their masks. This is a tough time in American history. It's a tough time in world history. But it is not unique to the times that we saw in, 19, in the 1960s. We had a war raging in, in Vietnam. We had protests. We had civil rights abuses and civil rights protests. We had division in this country the likes of which were never seen before. And at the same time, NASA was able to unite not just the United States of America, but we were able to unite the world in this very unique moment when we saw Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin land on the moon. Now here we are in this point where NASA has not had access to the International Space Station with its own rockets now for nine years. Um, and this is a moment when we can all look and be inspired uh, as to what the future holds. We have a moment in time when we don't just have to reflect on how difficult things are right now, but we can talk about how bright things are going to be in the future. And, um, and with that, I just want to say thank you to Bob and Doug for the great work you're about to do, the amazing work you've already done, veterans of multiple space shuttles each, space shuttle flights each, um, and just uh, uh, and, uh, you're the best that America has to offer. And we're thrilled uh, that you're willing to take on this mission to once again return American astronauts on American rockets from American soil to the International Space Station. So with that, I'll turn it over. Bob Benkin, I'll turn it over to you first to say a few words. Um, and then you can turn it over to Doug, and then it's over to you guys. You guys are going to be ask, answering questions. So uh, with that, Bob, I'll turn it over to you. Well, thank you, sir. We really appreciate the uh, introduction and would like to thank uh, Colonel Cabana for his leadership both here at the Kennedy Space Center and back at the Johnson Space Center when we uh, all uh, entered our service as astronauts. He was the uh, chief of the office and uh, welcomed us aboard. And so we've been under his uh, tutelage or leadership or for quite some time, and we really appreciate that. Uh, both Doug and I are really excited to be here. This is a, an awesome time to be an astronaut with a, a new spacecraft to get a chance to go and fly. As graduates of uh, military test pilot schools, if you uh, give, gave us one thing that we could have put on our list of uh, dream jobs that we would have gotten to have someday, it would have been to be aboard a new spacecraft, be conducting a test mission aboard that spacecraft, and uh, Doug and I get that chance to do it. So we're, we're thankful for that opportunity. And we view it as, a, as an opportunity, but also a responsibility for the American people, for the SpaceX team, for all of NASA that's uh, put this opportunity together and, and entrusted us with it. And so just excited to be back in the great state of Florida at the Kennedy Space Center, headed toward 39 Alpha, and a chance to launch again uh, from American soil on an American rocket. Thank you. That's good. Yeah, over to you, Doug. <laughs> it's just uh, it's an incredible honor to be back here at Kennedy Space Center. Bob and I started out, uh, our first astronaut jobs were here at Kennedy. So we spent uh, the first three or four years after we were ASCANs launching or helping to launch, obviously, shuttles uh, into space. And, and, and this is a very, very special place to us. Uh, it's almost like a home away from home. So it's great to be back. Uh, it's an incredible place. Uh, incredible time for NASA, the space program, uh, once again launching U.S. crews from Florida and hopefully just a, a week from about right now, which is incredible. I happen to have been one of the four astronauts that landed here almost nine years ago in T-38s uh, on the 4th of July of 2011 to uh, close out the space shuttle program. So it's incredibly humbling to be here to start out the next uh, launch from the United States. Also want to thank the uh, incredible men and women of uh, SpaceX from Hawthorne to McGregor and uh, here at Kennedy that have put so many thousands of hours uh, of work into, our, into this rocket and to this spacecraft. And uh, we're looking forward to getting uh, up close and personal with uh, Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon here in just a few days. Thanks again for uh, everybody at home supporting us and supporting NASA. This is a great time uh, in America to be able to do this again. And uh, Bob and I are honored to be the uh, lucky ones to fly this vehicle. Thank you.